Today we are back in Sanford and we are gonna eat at a place called St. John's River Steak and Seafood and it's right here on the water. It's just a stone's throw from downtown. The parking lot in all of our videos that we say we park in, it's just, just on down from that. But it's on the water and we have a reservation for 5.30. It's currently 5.24. So we're gonna start heading in and see if they have a table ready for us. Looking forward to this one. Let's go check it out. Look at this sunset with the palm trees. So here's the downtown is right over there. You come in this road here. Don't be mistaken by that St. John's River Ship Co. We'll have to see what that is sometime. But there's parking right over here. And if we turn to the right, here is the restaurant, this blue building right here on the water, right next to Yoga. As far as reservations go, super easy. On their website, they have a spot that says reservations and you just choose the time. You put in your information and they send you a text saying it's confirmed. Yeah, this sign could use a little bit of a touch up, but just shows its character. St. John's River Steak and Seafood. And right out here, you could looks like you can sit out front, sit out back. We'll check the hours on the door. This sign's in a little bit better shape. Specials, raw oysters, pork tenderloin, Monday through Thursday, 11 to 9, Friday through Saturday, 11 to 10, Sunday, 11 to 8, happy hour, 3 to 6. Here is what it looks like. So there's restrooms over there. Looks like there's a bar. Please wait to be seated. Look at the ceiling in here. Here's a drink menu. Here is a local streets venue. Looks like they got some good stuff there. $8 for local treats. Look at that Southern Berry Sour. Oh, and they've got some uh, mints right there. They got some checkers right there on this table. They said they are getting our table ready. I don't know if it's if there's like outside, inside. I don't really know. We'll find out though. We are heading this way. Let's see where we're gonna be at. Oh yeah, we're gonna be out in this little area overlooking the water. That's cool. Sweet. Awesome. Look at the water. This is what it looks like in here. They have actual coasters here. That's crazy. I've never seen a restaurant have actual coasters. Here's a look at the drink menu. So we have happy hour Monday through Friday, three to six. Cocktails, wines, and beers. St. John's on the rocks. Got a lakefront mule, Long Island tea, Victoria's Secret, margarita, 32 ounce rum bucket. And over here we have the classic frozen, which has different choices here. Daiquiris, margaritas. Bottomless mimosas. That's only Sunday, 11 to 3. And then flavored smoothies for the kids. On the back, we have house wines, reds, whites, sparkling wines on tap, and ice cold bottles. Here is the St. John's River Steak and Seafood. Let's get started. So, your appetizers right here. Just kind of go slow spinach, artichoke dip. Oh, some conch fritters. Boom boom shrimp. Wow, that's a that's a lot of appetizers. From the garden. Asian salad. Handheld. Your choice. Uh, served with your choice of house meat potato chips or coleslaw. Here's a burger. St. John's burger. Gumbo and chowder. And then here's house favorites is the little uh, uh, ship wheel. Now on this side, we've got seafood combos. They do have some pictures on the menu here, but seafood combos. Chef K's grill. You can add a few things to the entree there. Yard birds. And 
And then over here we have From the Sea. Fish and chips. So I'm guessing S and L is small and large. S and I. Oh, S and I. Side included. Interesting. I was thinking maybe like the large portion or the small portion, but Mr. SpongeBob. Down here, pastas. And then that's it. There's all the sides. Also went with the unsweet Arnold Palmer. Imagine that. A little gruesome for those of you that have watched our Key West videos. They have Key West chicken. That makes it sound like uh, they're just grabbing a chicken right there. Um, definitely not the case, though. That sounds really good, actually. I think we're going to share the blackened mahi. And what does that say? Serve with two sides. So, yeah, the SI means everything served with two sides except the dishes marked SI because the sides included. So the blackened mahi is served with two sides, which what would you want? I might do the baked mac and cheese. That sounds delicious. And you want mixed vegetables? Broccoli. You love broccoli. While she's deciding, I think we're also then going to try the mussels. That's crazy. A pound of mussels. Holy smokes. Mashed potatoes and gravy? Mashed potatoes or are... Okay. So the unsweet Arnold Palmer's okay. It's not the best I've ever had. It's an okay drink. And then it looks like everybody got a little bit of something so we can at least show every, like four different items. Here's a look at the side salads. So we have a honey mustard there. And then a Thousand Island. Let us know, what's your favorite dressing on salads? This water is so pretty. So here is the food. Props to the waiter that brought out our food. He was like, oh, they did not give you everything. So he was checking. He went back and he's going to bring the rest of the stuff out because I'm missing the mac and cheese. My mom's missing um, some sauce and stuff. But here's the blackened mahi. Here is the mashed potatoes. Look at all of these mussels. Seared grouper. I think. Pan seared. Pan seared grouper. And then you did get the jerk chicken, but you got the sauce on the side. But since the jerk's a little spicy, they said they'll put it on the side, which he's bringing. But so far, everything looks good. I'll show you the mac and cheese when they bring it too. We are still waiting on the mac and cheese. However, we're gonna dig in and just try a little bit of everything. We'll let you know what we like and dislike. You're already digging into those mussels. You absolutely love mussels. They look really good. I'm excited to try them. There's like, well, a pound. Here we go. Here's the mac and cheese. Now, I think online they had a picture of the artichoke dip, and I think they use this kind of cheese in the artichoke dip, but that looks like some good mac and cheese. First bite, really good. Also, the tartar sauce is good. So Timber is the mussels connoisseur, and she said these are stinking good. I just tried one. Very good mussels. So here's the honey mustard, and here is the jerk chicken sauce on the side. We'll go ahead and try it. So sauce is slightly spicy, but not bad at all. Also, this mac and cheese is really good. Also, my mom said the baked potatoes cook perfectly and the chicken's very tender. So far, every single person has loved it. No complaints. And man, Timber, you're going for it over there. About got them down. That's some great mac and cheese too. So we're gonna pass on dessert today. We're at a good, comfortable level. They do look like they have really good desserts. Again, it was right there in the front. We asked what the chocolate earthquake was, and it's like very chocolatey cake with brownie bites and brownies and all that stuff. So it sounds like it'd be very chocolatey, which is good if you like chocolate, but we're gonna just um, skip for now. I bet their dessert is very good though, because everything else was great. Here is the bill. So far, everybody's been great in here. Very nice, friendly. There's their website up there. So total for all the drinks and all the entrees, 109.10 for some really delicious food. Do not go out that way, that's the emergency exit. You can see though it's very dark now. Now these tables are neat, they have pineapple legs. And as far as time, you said it was 6.30? As far as time goes, it's 6.30, so it took about an hour. Um, but I would, I would say on a Friday, I would recommend getting 
a reservation. It seems like it's pretty crowded. There's some open tables though. It just probably depends, but um, it's always good just to go online and have a reservation secured so that you don't have to wait. Now we are back outside. Let's just go to the water real quick and look at it. Little picnic table out here. Benches. Oh yeah, this is very peaceful. Check this out. So the phone always tries to make it brighter than it really is, which I'm thankful for, but I'll show you how dark it really is right now. It looks like that. That's how dark it is. Very quiet and peaceful though. And then right here it says, thank you for coming. So that was, that was a good spot. That was our trip out to St. John's River Steak and Seafood restaurant here in Sanford. Give it a big thumbs up. Like my mom said, stinking good food. So all was good. Really don't have any complaints. Um, really great views. Glad we got to go. In fact, I would order everything what I ordered again like I the mac and cheese was great you love the mussels yeah there, there was a lot a lot of mussels definitely get those to share yeah I would love to try some of the other stuff but I have, I don't have any complaints with anything and I also wanted to mention that the unsweet Arnold Palmer was actually better after a couple of refills so I think maybe the tea or something was on the last batch on the first refill or the lemonade was on it but um it, it was much better it was, it was actually really good so no complaints it was great if you're in the Sanford area and want a seafood place on the water, check out St. John's River Steak and Seafood. With that being said, that does it for tonight. Thanks for watching.